Never forget, the Pond King is always lame. Also, we're open. Be quiet. The asshole's still asleep. Did you get my message to Lola? I was too late. By the time I got there, she was gone. The bells were ringing non-stop. She had to get the hell out of there in a hurry. She left a note for you, though. Let me see it. Put it in the drawer. Jesus. Do you think she made it out? Maybe. If she managed to survive this long, that means she's good at sense and danger. Yeah. She's tough. Uh, at least that's what people used to say about her. You were trying to reunite with her? I was gonna see her for the first time, since I was a baby. We were gonna leave New Orleans. Find somewhere less... shitty to live. Don't blame you for that. Surviving in this place gets harder every day. Early on, when this whole mess began, I begged my dad to help me track my mom down. See if we could help her, but he refused. Told me she wasn't worth the trouble. And he kept me here, away from her, this whole time. <laughs> now she's gone. Anyways, I talk too much. You help me, so now I'm gonna help you. I have a friend named Whistles. She was a fireworks technician back in the day. Try the gym office in the high school in Rampart. But she only does business at night. She's the solution to your firepower problem. She's like a Da Vinci with explosives. At least that's what my dad says. If you live through this, and I really hope you do, don't you forget who told you the truth. Tourist, time to meet. Beep and let us know. Former compatriot, you were absolved of your debt when I severed you from your breath. From this burden, we are freed. Hey, you on the prowl? I see you looking with them rabbit dog eyes. Well, I ain't gonna bite. Not in my nature. The deal. That's where it's at. You looking the deal? You whistles. That put your mind at ease? Not really. Answer the question. Yeah, I'm whistles. The one, the only. What do you need? Desiree from the Pawn King sent me. She said you know where to score some serious firepower. Ah, Desiree. I haven't seen her in some time. Her daddy cut me off, but his girl and me, we've always been good. So what do you need some serious firepower for? Are we talking people, building, pack of corpses? What you looking to obliterate? A person impersonating a tank. Ah, yes, I feel you. Not my specialty, but I got the hookup. Problem is, I can't get to him right now. There's some interference. 
These trigger-happy reclaimed types got me cut off from my boy Maxwell. My go-to for the heavy ordnance. Supposed to meet up tonight, in fact. Library in Hardeman Hall. But Reclaim got the whole area on lockdown. Anyway, you gotta find Maxwell. Once he hears my name, the explosion store is open for business. Do me a favor and remind him that he owes me that Forgath book. He'll know the deal. The Reclaimed have it out for you and Maxwell? Nah, they're just flexing their muscle. It ain't personal. But I gotta tell you, this whole trade network thing with the Exiles, it's got everyone jacked up. What do the Exiles have to do with all this? The Exiles are stirring shit up. I think it's about time. But if you're the Reclaimed, you're trying to lay low. Know what I'm saying? They don't need a tower patrol coming through here looking for Exiles to punish. They've heard that tune before. What's the deal with Maxwell? How can I trust this guy? Maxwell is true blue. Ex-Marine. Honor. Loyalty. Talks to God. He stumbled upon a huge stockpile of ordnance early on. Keeps it locked up in a secret location. Won't even tell me what part of the city it's in. Don't blame him, though. Explosives like that are damn hard to come by. If Maxwell doesn't cooperate, I'm holding you accountable, Whistles. First rule of deal-making, keep third parties out of it. I get that, yeah. And that's my bad. But I'm willing to stake my rep on Max. Just drop my name, and poof! Magic. Cut through the reclaimed farm Maxwell. Can I get on with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consider the deal done. Don't let me keep you, killer. Looks like you got yourself in a tough situation, buddy. Want me to get whistles? I bet she'd know what to do. You shattered my family to serve yourself. Demolished by your own devices. From this burden, we are freed.
You find Max? Get what you need? Maxwell is dead. Damn. For real? That breaks my heart. He was a bud. Someone I could talk to. What happened? Somebody had it out for him. Thought it would be poetic to take him out with his own explosives. Max is dead. Shit. Gotta wrap my head around that. Am I gonna cry? No. I can't cry. I don't cry. But damn. Look, I'm sorry you didn't get what you needed. Check this out, though. I've been working on something for my own self-protection, a DIY grenade launcher type thing. I can't guarantee it's gonna tear through heavy armor. Here. You're gonna need some ammo for that. Check with your trade network buds out near Memorial Lane. I heard they scored a couple crates of grenades on a scavenge run. That's some leprechaun shit right there. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Wish I could have helped you more. I found Zerka Lord First Edition. First Edition for Gath? Holy shit! Which one? Can I see it? Yep, this is it. Forgath, Zerker Lord. Max got me hooked on this series back when we first met. This was his favorite volume, which is why he held out on me for so long. You won't believe the dreams I've had being this dude, Forgath. Except I'm rocking this massive pair of shit kicking boots, and that's all I do. I go around stomping the shit out of anything that gets in my way. You ever get into the series? I'm not really a reader. Hey, it ain't for everybody. But it's basically saved my sanity. 800 pages of pure zen. You know what I mean? I've got an old Forgath Volume 1, first edition, Feast of Beasts, fucking classic. Used to be worth a bunch of money, now it's pure sentimental value, which to me makes it priceless. Give it a read, and maybe one day you can let me know what you think. Book Club Buds. How did you and Maxwell connect? It's a fucked up story. Sure you want to hear it? I can handle it. Are you like sure sure? 100% positive? It's messed up. Yeah, I'm fucking positive. Tell me the goddamn story. All right, but don't judge me. I hate being judged. So, about two weeks after I started rolling through the street solo, before I had this new reality all figured out, my brain was on the brink. No food for almost two weeks. I was seeing things swooping down on me from the sky, like these bird phantoms with fangs and glowing eyeballs. Oof, terrifying. Thinking I'm finished, right? But then I stumble onto this fresh corpse, lying there naked. So I get out my knife. Maybe I can just carve off a little piece of that corpse, crisp it up on a fire like a brisket. No one's around, no one's going to know. So after some deep contemplation, I say screw it. I dive right in, jab my knife into some ass meat, and the corpse jumps up, screaming and flailing. The corpse wasn't a corpse, it was Max. Oh, I apologize profusely. Then we just hit it off, talk for hours about our lives before all this. He was a good listener. You're right, didn't need that image. I knew I should have kept my trap shut. Have you heard of Garrick? Heard of him? I've seen him, in action was up on a rooftop having a smoke, and I saw these tower scrubs running in the street, panicked. I couldn't really see what had them freaking out. But then, this axe comes whipping through the air, and whap, takes one of them down. Axe lodged right in the spine. She's down there, twitching and screaming. The rest just kept on running. Then, this huge dude, size of a grizzly bear, steps out of the shadows and grabs the axe handle and he starts dragging this lady behind him with the axe still in her. Like she was some slab of meat. And that was it for me. I couldn't get away from there fast enough. I've seen tons of horrible shit, but nothing like that, ever. Wait a second. Are you planning on messing with that dude? That's my business, Whistles. Best if you stay out of my business. That's cool. I don't want anything to do with him. Dude's completely lost his mind. Done chatting. I got other shit to do. For sure. Send my best to Desiree if you see her.
Tourist, welcome back. Thanks for responding to our call. How's your coup going? The situation on the inside's getting pretty dire. Eradicators are more aggressive than ever. Cracking skulls, putting us on lockdown whenever they feel like it. More executions, too. Eight people took the walk last week. A few were on our side. Rumors going around that Mama might be onto us. If they were onto us, we'd all be dead. But still, we can't wait much longer. Time is not our friend. And here's the real problem, tourist. We need weapons, comms equipment, tactical gear. There's only so much we can skim from tower supply. But we heard that some exiles were making shit happen. Moving stuff through some kind of trade network. And the mastermind behind it all is supposedly our buddy, the tourist. Me, a mastermind. I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> Very funny. Right now, we need bolt cutters, like the heavy-duty chomper ones. I know, it might sound crazy, but everything in the tower is under lock and key. Entrance gates, storage areas, shit, they even lock up the refrigerators. We get bolt cutters, we can hack off the locks quietly and swipe what we need. Echo's got a lead on where you can find them. There's an exile in the French Quarter, Patricia. She's got access to some pretty rare stuff, but she won't deal with me because I was reclaimed. She says JB was a charlatan. Bolt cutters. Got it. Anything else? We need to get a critical message out to the exiles. Mama's coming for them. We still don't know her plan, but every single exile has a target on their back. The map you found proves it. So, we need to put out some propaganda of our own. Here, give these to Patricia. Ask her to pass them out to any exile she sees. Mama is the enemy and needs to be eliminated. We're gonna be laying low, so you might not hear from us for a little while. When the time is right, we'll let you know. Thanks, tourist. Tourist, I didn't expect to see you walk through the door. To what do I owe the pleasure? How's business lately? Thriving, thanks to you. We can barely keep up with the orders. Glad I could help. I'm in the market for some bolt cutters. I might have a pair around here somewhere. 
but no freebies. Not even for you. I figured that would be the case. What's it gonna cost me? Don't worry, it'll be painless. I've got some doctor types clamoring for surgical scissors. There's a clinic near the tower where you might be able to find them. Egg timers are in demand. Rats, too. But you have to figure out where to get those on your own. Deal? That's pretty steep. You know what they say. Bolt cutters don't grow on trees. Anything else? A favor. I have some friends who've had it with Mama's reign. They're working on a plan to take her out, but they're gonna need some exile help. Another plan to bring down the tower, huh? Does this one involve a catapult large enough to launch a dozen walkers at once? Actually, no. That's a great idea. Mama's coming for the exiles. Every last one of you. No more hiding in the shadows. It's either kill her or be killed. We need you to spread the word. A counterpunch to the tower propaganda that litters the streets. Holy shit, is this for real? Be honest with me. Who the fuck are these people? If I'm telling you it's legit, then you know it's legit. The tourist stamp of approval. I'll post a few up around here and hand off some stacks as people come through. In the meantime, I'll hold on to Billy Bolt Cutters until you can find what I need. Later that night.
killing you was like cutting off my right hand. Executed with one fell swoop. From this burden, we are freed. Later that night. You just won the scavenger hunt. Congratulations, tourist. Dreams really do come true. Did you put out the flyers? I did. They've been getting people pretty fired up. If your friends make this happen, if they strike the tower, we'll have their back. Thanks, I'll let them know. We got people, we got weapons. But if we're gonna fight the tower, we need more ammo. A lot more. You can never have enough ammo. I get it. I'll make sure my friends know what you need. There's a kid. Goes by Echo. Former reclaimed. You can trust them. If they come through here looking to trade, you get them what they need. Cool? Sure. No problem. Viva la revolution. 
I have those bolt cutters gift wrap for you. Over here on my right. The next day. Where you at, tourist? Gotta talk ASAP. Beep us. Tourist. Damn, it's good to see you. Miss me, huh? Just glad you're still alive. Did you get the bolt cutters? Wasn't easy. Had to go all over hell and back, but I tracked them down. What about the flyers? What did, what did the exiles say? They're a tough crowd. I talked to Patricia. She was doubtful at first. But she started putting the flyers out and it got people talking. She says they're ready to take the fight to the tower. This is great news. Sounds like we got our army. Time to unleash it on Mama. I wouldn't call the Exiles an army. More like a ragtag mob. They ain't ready yet. Ammo's in short supply. They got weapons, I guess. And people who know how to use them. But if you want them to fight with you, they're gonna need bullets. Serendipity, tourist. Enter the star of our show, Billy Bolt Cutters. We can start stealing what we need from the tower. Sneak it out to the Exiles. Echo, you can help us with that. For sure. As long as they'll actually talk to me.
They better. If you have any problems with Exiles again, they're gonna have to answer to me. Thanks, tourist. We'll contact you when the time is right. Won't be long now. Mama's end is near.